Hi guys, it's Danny. Alrighty, today we're gonna discuss about Oncidium Alliance Orchids. And this is because one of my viewers asked me about some intergenerics that she has, what's the difference between them, how she should care for them. And today we're just gonna talk a little bit about these intergenerics. They are also called Cambria Orchids. If you're from Europe, you might have heard about this name. Usually when you purchase something like this from the store, it will have a tag in which it says it's a Cambria Orchid. But Cambria Orchids can look very, very different between them. So what's the difference? Now the Oncidium family of orchids, it's a very, very diverse family. And in front of me, we have a proper Oncidium, even though it's a hybrid. You can have species as well. But this particular one is a hybrid Oncidium. It is not a intergeneric, let's call it like that because it only has one species hybridized in it to obtain it. So when we say Oncidium orchids, we do refer to the species of Oncidium orchids. But then there comes the intergenerics and also subspecies of the Oncidium alliance, and I'll go through some of them. So here is the perfect example of a very complex intergeneric Oncidium hybrid. This is a Bellara orchid. It is now called an Alessara. It changed names. Anyway, if you research Alessara or Bellara orchids, you will see that there are multiple species hybridized together to obtain something like this. Oncidium orchids, the proper species, are in her parentage as well, but you will probably find stuff like Miltonia and other things in their parentage as well. So can this orchid be called an Oncidium? Well, kinda. It is an Oncidium hybrid or Oncidium intergeneric. You will find it in the store under the name of Cambria as well, even though it's not a proper Oncidium. Care-wise, though, it's very similar to Oncidium orchids, but there are some other species that really don't require the same care as Oncidiums, but they're still called Cambrias. So here we have a Brassia orchid. If you know them, if you've ever seen them, you know they have that typical spidery shape. They're really, really cool. In the stores, you'll probably find them under the name of Oncidium intergeneric or Cambria but actually they are distinct species. The problem is they do belong to the alliance of Oncidiums. Care-wise though, they're very similar to Oncidiums, even though they look different, even though they're called different and they're a different species. They can also be hybridized with Oncidiums and there are quite a lot of uh, Brassia Oncidium hybrids out there. They're called Brassidiums. I'm not sure how they're called now because they always change names, but the Brassia, even though it's not a proper Oncidium, it does belong to the Oncidium Alliance, so it can be called an Oncidium type orchid. The Miltonia is yet again considered a Oncidium type orchid. Even though it's a species in itself, it does belong to the Oncidium Alliance, and Oncidium and Miltonia crosses are really frequent. So Miltonias do require practically the same care as Oncidium orchids, but they do like higher humidity, especially the species. So the difference is not major in their care. You cannot say they are Oncidiums, but they do belong to the same alliance. So they have similarities. The problem is when you get orchids like Miltoniopsis. Again, in stores, you'll probably find it under the name of Miltonia, which is incorrect but also Cambria, which again is a little bit weird. Now the problem is Miltoniopsis are very different from Oncidiums. They don't require as much light, they require cool temperatures and high humidity. They're really nothing alike. But Miltoniopsis again belong to the Oncidium Alliance, for now at least. I'm not sure what the scientists will decide in the future, but for now they belong to the same alliance, but they have totally different care requirements. So why is it important for us to know what type of Oncidium or Oncidium intergeneric we have? Well, because there are those species or hybrids which are a bit different from a typical Oncidium orchid. Now for the vast majority of cases, Bellaras, Brassidiums, Brassias, and other stuff like this, they do kind of take the same care as Oncidium orchids, so you're not gonna be very very wrong in caring for them that way. But when it comes to Miltoniopsis, it's really something else. So when you have an orchid, identifying it and checking out the parentage can actually help you quite a lot. If you see that a hybrid, a intergeneric hybrid, has a Miltoniopsis in its parentage, you kind of know that orchid tends to like higher humidity and lower temperatures. And I can give you as an example the Nellie Eiler orchid. The Nellie Eiler indeed has Oncidium in her parentage, but somehow it just inherited more from the Miltoniopsis orchids, unfortunately. 
However, this particular one, which is a Diana Dunn beautiful orchid, this one inherited more from Oncidium's side, so it's not as picky, doesn't need quite as much humidity and low temperatures. So practically, this is the story with the Oncidium hybrids. There are just so, so many species in the Alliance Oncidium that can be hybridized together that we have a vast array of orchids available for purchase. Some of them are pure Oncidiums, some of them are intergenerics, some of them are Miltoniopsis or Miltonia. The most important thing is to know the name of your orchid and after that you can do research, you can find out the parentage and what orchids were combined to obtain it and that kind of gives you an idea of how to care for it. So okay, I hope this video was useful for you, it was just an overview of Oncidium orchids, it's not a very detailed video but I hope it kind of gives you an idea of what Cumbria or Oncidium intergenerics or Oncidium alliance means. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and a share, subscribe to my channel for daily orchid videos. If you have further questions or suggestions for videos, just leave me a comment down below and I'll get back to you. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchinature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch a video about how to care for Oncidium orchids. Thank you for joining, I'll see you next time, bye!